good evening everybody actually i should say good morning because it's 12 42 in the morning and i'm just uh, starting a live show uh, this can actually go a little bit of cumbersome process uh, i'm actually following something james told me to do james actually told me you can it will be very nice to hear if you can uh post a poem um like i used to do when james first met me uh scripter when he first met me in blog tv i used to recite poems and uh, somehow he was not a very regular visitor there though uh, I, I, I I used to watch him in, uh, in, in another show. Uh, so he told, okay, yeah, if you can do that, that'll be great. So I said, I will do it for you. And there you go. We are live and I don't know where I am live. Uh, I may actually end up, you know, hearing my own voice. No, I think I'm muted there. I, it says live stream offline for whatever reason you are live. Okay. For whatever reason okay let me go and see if i am live if i can see myself oh, yeah i am live okay uh so i i'm gonna come back to that i post that uh i need to post this uh first of all all this into into okay I'm going to actually post it here. I had an auto thing, you know, which definitely is not working. I can pretty much sure. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to see a picture of myself there. So I put a picture there to add it in here and the picture doesn't show up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway, whatever that is. I'm going to actually say CJ. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I think CJ. See, my problem right now is I cannot get his name. Why can't I get his name? It's oh, I need to say tag people. I know where do I say that? I should say tag people, isn't it? Uh, tag friends, okay. That will actually do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is my picture. Okay, okay I'm actually very quiet. Uh, very quiet means I really have to show you what exactly is going on. I kind of set things up for that poem. I hope it won't go all bizarre, go crazy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's simple. This poem was written, you know, I may have to go through this. Uh, this poem was written in a completely different context. I will come back to it and I will give you a brief idea about how it is. Uh, it is written. Uh, this is a brand new poem. It took about four days to write. Uh, the idea in this poem came from a phrase widely spoken in South India. The lie in poetry is its beauty. It is coming from a song. And the song actually goes as Kannaku Mayaragu, Kavidekchu Poyaragu. That means uh, the eyelashes is the beauty for, the, for your eyes. Uh, and poetry, for poetry, the lie is its beauty. So it goes like that. So it's from Tamil and it's basically in South India, even in, in my state in this particular say, yeah, if a poem really need to be beautiful, you have to bring in a lie or it's not actually a lie. It's actually a story. You make images that may not be real. So when you say something that is not real, you, the best way you can actually say it is, okay, yeah, it is a beautiful thing, but actually I said it's not real. It is a lie. So that's what it is. Uh, you are seeing this post from backup side you know that's what i said okay there was some backup sites and everything and i i didn't really give a lot into it uh i thought i will actually speak about this you know in another show uh that didn't actually happen um so this poem what is this about okay uh, a poet who spoke the truth um 
when you are kind of trying to connect to a person, you have to be very truthful. If you are not truthful, then you have a problem. Uh, and that truthfulness, when I'm a poet and I speak through imagery, many times this truth gets really, really, <laughs> you know, uh, how do I say, you know, dented or bented and uh, time, there are times the actual truth gets broken. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that many people in their lifetime have encountered this problem. Uh, when it comes to a relationship, you have to be truthful. But when you, if you are an artist and you are trying to draw a picture or when you are trying to write a poetry or a short story or something like that, with the same context, when you put that one piece in there that, that is truthful, then you say a hundred different things, or I'm not saying hundred, uh, there's no hundred different things that you can come with. But you know, you say ten different things you need to actually bring in to actually make this truth look better then those things are not real at all. That's basically what you're saying. I'm not going to speak the the lies around it. What I'm trying to do is, I'm going to try to tell the actual truth. And that's what this poem, fundamental context of the poem is that. Now, let me have a quick thing, okay? And when I do shows, you know, I do a lot of weird things. Uh, this is not like uh, people sitting in CNN and uh, what other the channels, you know? And they do shows, okay? They are all big people. I'm a poor guy. <laughs> so, ideas of these things, these kind of things happens from something weird. And I have told about this, whether it is true or not, people understand it or not, nobody actually encouraged whether it is. Just most of the people who comes here fundamentally understands, okay, what is it this guy is trying to do? Um, <clears throat> however, you, know, you have to understand where are we going to go with this, uh, this idea about you need to tell the truth, but you need to take a real life context. And the real life context at this point of time is rebellious. I mean, the person who is actually saying, for whatever reason, what exactly that person wants is something which I don't know, uh, as there is no communication. Communications are broken down completely. So I, I would like to know what he says. But for me, that's what I'm taking. Somebody who is saying, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with anything on this. Or actually, she didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be very truthful here, you know, at this point. <laughs> she didn't tell me anything. She didn't even tell me no to write. The, but from the tone, it's like, I don't I don't like what you're saying. I don't know what exactly she wants. You know, this is the problem. When you are in a relationship, I think I'm shaking the whole thing. <laughs> this table is kind of wobbly right now. Uh, what she told was, why are you writing this? And then gone. This is a problem, you know, when, when, when you are talking to somebody, whether that is a friend or not a friend or anybody, if you just walk away with, before telling what exactly you want that person to do or not to do, then there is a problem. That person himself will be like, I, you know, as for me, I was like, what am I supposed to do from here on? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm asking even yesterday in my post, uh, my blog, I asked, you know, if you have anything to tell me, you can tell me whatever that is if you have a request uh, or if you have a question ask me I will answer the question uh, if you have a request of you know do this or don't do this those kind of things you can tell me I mean I'm, I'm not a you know monster sitting here trying to bite off your head you know that's not who I am I'm just a normal person trying to write poetry with whatever context I can I'm actually generating uh, or bringing up. Uh, so that is, you know, if, if, if James already has heard me speak about these kind of things during the blog TV time, which unfortunately ended in 2013, uh, we are all trying to do these kind of things afterwards. It just doesn't, it doesn't add up. And even I myself was not regular. Uh, these days I am extremely busy. Many things are happening. Uh, so it should be a timely thing. I can do it in IV log. Uh, and there are other websites, you know, where I can go and do the show, even, you know, directly on Facebook. 
uh, it doesn't matter you know you I can bring in a uh, hundred thousand uh, viewers not hundred thousand if I can that would be great <laughs> uh, but maybe a hundred viewers or 200 viewers or 300 but they should be able to enjoy you know some of these very young folks who don't really understand poetry uh, what it is and especially the way I write poetry when they take it like what happened to this person um, and there are other people there were you know when I was doing blog TV shows uh, there were other people who were involved who actually came out with the problem you know saying that you know this 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 really sounds like you know what happened between us you know we were talking and you know you are taking now that in information and you are saying that you know that 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 is into a relationship now where there is no relationship you know people protested and that happened at that time that happened even now uh, there were you know there was a time when somebody actually told me uh, I am uh, trying to hit on a 15 year old girl uh, I don't know what I forgot her name <laughs> it was like a drama and I was like okay yeah. initially I was like what the hell is going on man I started you know with then one of the guys you know I had a friend called uh, Chuck uh, multi tool you know he told me hey dude relax this is a drama they want to enjoy this drama they make this drama I was like, oh got it man don't protest if you if you the more you protest the more this drama is going to go through if you are not protesting if you are not angry if you are not getting things you know because there are times when I actually get angry and it is I will show you you know a little later how that anger thing works <laughs> I, I I actually bring in so he said if you should keep on showing this you know that's what they enjoy you know these trolls uh, there were a lot of trolls there and uh, then I said oh okay manage these trolls very well and there was a, another uh, person called Dolivery. He told me, okay, you need to handle these guys very well. If you cannot handle these guys, you know, you are going to get completely lost here, you know, getting pissed off almost every night. Uh, you can have a clean show, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, you are going to, you are going to go, you know, when suddenly you are having a very clean show, all of a sudden you get pissed off and go, <laughs> I think you can, I, I can really go like that. Some people really enjoy it. <laughs> so that's from that show, you know, so that, that, that's what, you know, he, he actually told me, uh, I need to do this you know, video show. I may, I may do at least once in a while, or maybe I will try to do it as soon as, as much as possible. And I'm not going to promise, you know, I'm going to do uh, regular shows like every day. If possible, I will do it every day. Uh, time permits, uh, and uh, I'm busy on on on, it, on all friends, uh, and uh, I go out to see baseball game. Then wake I wake up. Uh, now it is like what 12:55. Usually I sleep at about 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I only sleep like four or five hours. Then I'm downstairs. You know, I'm I'm in mostly things. Uh, I have the same kind of thing that is sitting downstairs. Uh, when I say same kind of thing, you know, the the, the writing. see this with this writing thing I have one of this downstairs too that is something which I carry in my bag when I go to lakefront or things like that so that I can just put thing sit there I, know I think yesterday I filled in all my pens you know here's, here's one of the pens it's a beautiful pen I got it for like this one was uh, for like a dollar it was one dollar for this beautiful pen you know this is a founding pen you see and, and it, it writes well you know, very very well <laughs> So, I'm going to get into the poem, and I'm going to read the poem out. Uh, I usually show the poem, and I am going to show the poem. You will not see me reading the poem. And when you see me reading the poem, some people said, it, you know, there, there, was a, there was this lady, you know, she was, um, uh, I think she was uh, from Oregon, I, either Oregon or Washington. Uh, she was a Native American. She says, the one of the most amazing thing and even a couple of other people also actually told me one of the most amazing thing is the way your face changes <laughs> when you read the poem because initially i don't used to show the poem then i saw dolivari doing the same thing because he also have an accent um, because of my accent certain words will not be legible for people so that they will actually say oh okay what, what, what are you saying what are you trying to say you know like the girl you know asked me uh, I wrote in the latest one or tomorrow probably I'll read that poem that's a much more long poem and it is a confusing poem so uh, I show the thing so here in Ubuntu I have this software OBS where I can easily show it uh, I only use Ubuntu these days I haven't used Windows in like 
three, four months now. I haven't even gone because I have it's all partition and I can go switch back and forth. Um, but I, I haven't used it because I don't need to. You know, this pretty much serves my purpose and the latest version is amazing. So I'm gonna show the poem and I'm gonna read the poem. I hope this thing is still working. Uh, I haven't looked into the dashboard, you know, if there is somebody chatting or something like that. No idea. Stream health is bad video settings or something like that it says. Uh, please use keyframe frequency four seconds or less. I hope people can see it. Let me let me check it, otherwise I will redo this whole thing. I'm gonna read the poem out and see uh, you, how it, it, it it's going to come. Message, just zero, no, no, no messages. Uh, I don't know how do I fix this. Uh, on, on the fly I can change this. Setting. Uh, what is this? Output. Fast or fast. Keyframe. I cannot change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot change stream. Yeah, I cannot change anything from the stream. General. I don't know. It says something, you know, which I need to change. Okay. But I hope, you know, people can see it. I will, I, let me, let me go through this and I will, I will fix that. You know, if, if necessary, I will redo the show. Um, so let us do this. Um, hmm. Even this one, let me, I'm clicking on almost everything. You can hear click, 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 you know, going on. <laughs> uh, Mark Turner likes your comment. <laughs> I wrote a comment there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm checking, you know, whether anybody is speaking somewhere, you know, I am not in the other side, you know, when I go there, I don't want to really mess with it. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to read the poem. Uh, let me bring these things up. And, uh, this is the name of the poem, and it's called A Poet Who Spoke the Truth. Visions blurred as laughs of the world echoed on to the very versifier who by the street stood. Constantly like a mindless lunatic he asked, Who for the world, who for the wonderful cares, who for the truthful cries? The poetry in defeat drowned as all spoke, the blabbering of the world blasted senses. Oh, the insanity of the masses split the mind. Still, only the truth from his soul came. The truth about who you are and who you are not. Dear, the validity of the perception in mind you carry. Uh, every bit of you, you pain. Every bit of your pain. It's actually your. <laughs> I can see I corrected somewhere, I know. Uh, every bit of your pain, every bit of your gladness, every bit of your anger, confusion, oh, all deeply felt. The poet stood by the street and asked, what more to the world I can give? And he looked down, up and all around, what more to her I can say to prove the truth? Then a long lost truth he remembered, the beauty of poetry is in the lies. The poet from his heart resides. He looked all around and smiled. Then a little girl came by and at him in anger looked. As she heard the last question, he thought out loud. Crossing streets, holding her mom like a boss, she screamed, Let her learn your love and let love prove your truth. Took a step away as only in his soul he spoke. The best lines of verses he ever wrote came to his soul. All lies from his life one by one got erased. Only some lines remained after a long walk in the world. Unstructured lines that never rhymed in his soul embedded. Oh, those lines spoke the love for each other of two souls. The spiritual love that never materialized in the web of world. For where he ran but her mind confused about the truth. Truth a poet can speak even when the verses he writes in those verses are not the versification that took beauty, but a reality into the world like a morning sun projected. Beauty of her soul from far felt, but through verses he spread.
see i can do better you know <laughs> uh, i saw one of the error that i have you know even uh, today i made a post and the, today's blog post was longer like three pages uh, tomorrow when i actually go through that i may actually speak about that incident uh, but i have to be very careful because it is completely real it was a very angry outburst from somewhere some some other you know some some of the people involved uh, so that 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 already happened so i don't want to involve that thing into too much into the poetry uh, because you know i i don't i want i don't want to break somebody's privacy or anything like that so uh, so it's it's this is it and i and i'm not sure whether this is very clear and i'm not even sure whether the audio is working because right now I can see something is working, but whether the desktop audio is properly working, I don't know. Uh, because I haven't used these things, I have upgraded everything. Uh, so I hope all these things are working properly and uh, people will be able to hear me and uh, read this poem along. Uh, if not, I will do it probably tomorrow, uh, tonight. I know, you know, my eyes are really, really getting... <laughs> I usually wear a glass. Uh, if I'm feeling bad, because you know, if these kind of things are short, small, that may make it much more funnier. See? <laughs> uh, so that's what it is. Uh, when it comes to relationships, you know, people go through hell. You know, first of all, if you try to be in a relationship, people go through hell. That's why I said, okay, I am nearly reaching a point of saturation. I think I already passed the point of saturation. That there are, there are two you know ways you can say that. Uh, so I'm going to actually end this show. In the in the coming days, you know, there will be more poems. I'm going to be back going backwards. And there is a series of poems which I wrote called the She. Um, I may have to spend a whole lot of time reading out the She. So I'm going to actually group poems from that within that series. Uh, say like four or five poems, 18 of them are there. My original plan was to actually bring out 25 poems. But, you know, I don't know whether I'm going to go and finish the entire thing this time itself. Maybe I will hold on to it and see how things evolve, if there is any evolution. So I will write the ideas, I you know, like plenty of them are sitting already in front of me. Um, I have a whole bunch of sheets here where I actually scribble down things. And from there it comes, you know, uh, like for example, I'm going to, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this. Uh, let me just show, see, if you see, the, you know, it, it only comes to this, then the last part doesn't even make any sense. You know, the top part is where I started working on the Fool's Romance. Then I got everything in my head, then I immediately typed it in. Uh, then it goes, you know, then I have to make sure, you know, it is bound to the copyright, you know, all those information, what pictures that I should associate. Nowadays, I don't even care much about pictures. It should be a good looking girl. That's the only thing matters because there are people in Facebook that comes and gives me like hundreds of likes, you know, those kids. They are, those guys are like about between, uh, they are not even beyond 25. You know, there is nobody beyond 25 among that group. Uh, those guys are young folks, you know, probably in college, you know, when they see a pretty girl's picture, you know, tuck, 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 and I can see hundreds of likes coming in. And most of those guys won't even come to LonelyPoet.com to read the poem. But there are people who really enjoy the poem. Uh, I really like them. Um, and, uh, you know, nowadays, you know, people are getting back to understanding, okay, yeah, it's not on Facebook anymore. Facebook is done. I'm done with all that. Uh, it's in my side and everything in, in, in my side. Now, around this poem, you know, if you look at that, you know, I, I was very clear, clearly saying that this is coming from a backup. Uh, the reason why I used the backup was, uh, it was a, it was a very simple change, you know, I needed to make and I didn't really make that change. Um, long story short, I should have actually changed the name server from afraid.org. Uh, that is a website where I had a name server. And lonely poetry box was pointing to that. Then I moved poetry box from there. <coughs> uh, that those name servers, and I moved the entire domain to another host. So when I'm actually running those things, you know, to have a smooth transition, I kept the original one. Then afraid.org got expired uh, in early September. So by about September third or fourth. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing a park page <laughs> where I'm going to lonely poetry box. Then after some time it works. 
then sometimes it only works through my phone network uh, not on my cable then sometimes it works on cable network and then not on my phone so it kind of act started acting like that then i contacted my tech guys you know and said okay what is going on man you know what's up with this and they said oh maybe somebody hacked into it so we looked at all the logs and everything i because when you look into a log uh, that is a very cumbersome process it's not easy if you don't know the specific things you are looking for there will be like thousands of kids coming in uh, even if your website don't have any normal visitors there are boards coming from like msn uh, i mean you know bing you know and their board google board facebook board you know these kind of search engines actually send send all these boards like five times a day so they will come they are coming and gathering information if i add a new pro, you know post you know they will gather the information about that and they create their own you know databases things like that uh so that's what that's why you know i'm very careful you know when i post something then the within a matter of minutes you know this thing is all over the web uh so the, so the thing is i'm not really really getting in, in any information that says any hacker coming in when i see an hacker you know i can see you know the way they behave uh that's called behavioral analysis you know a person who comes into a website when that person acts okay if, if i am going to if there are people who comes to my website what do they do they come specifically for a poem and they read that poem and then they read the post uh then they leave uh some people do not want to read the actual blog post they will read the poem hardly anyone read who read the poem go and read the blog post so when both these things are happening i know specifically okay this person is interested in something more than just poetry person knows who that is so that behavior it's not there for a hacker when he comes in he is not looking into poetry and pages and you know he is looking for oh okay where can i find some credit card information <laughs> he's not going to spend you know about 3 hours cracking through spare passwords and other things to get into a poetry website where there is nothing there is no cart or there is no credit card information store or nothing there is nothing financial connected to this site so the hackers are not interested in my site unless somebody want to break it down so that's what we i was looking is there somebody who trying to break it down i totally forgot about this uh, afri.org and then all of a sudden it all got blown uh i was like what is what is going on and i asked the techie uh, it was a girl who was i was dealing with um she is from india so i asked her what, what what you know how can you can you have no idea about this uh then i realized oh my god the way it is behaving so i looked at all these things you know one by one where is this breaking where is this working what time it work then i understood okay there are times this thing is looking at that afraid.org name server that's the time it does it is breaking so i went and looked at it see what all are the name servers then i see the afraid.org i removed it everything worked perfect <laughs> so uh, hackers and crackers and everybody is gone so some, you know this is this is one of the thing when you ask especially young people should understand okay do not immediately judge people based on any information that comes to you some people will just say something out of nowhere uh saying that oh okay that's because some hacker got into your website and everything break it down your isp is blocking your domain why is we spectrum why would spectrum block a blog site or you know a poetry site why i mean i'm not i'm not doing anything <laughs> I'm not doing anything illegal if I'm actually showing pictures of women standing up upside down but naked you know or some you know but some other porn thing you know I put it out there or something illegal you know gag you gag know, illegal you know people actually make illegal claims and to earn money you know pay me 100 dollars because you know you have to do this uh, no I'm not doing any of those things you know so what, what what's going on here so that's when you know this 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 whole thing I said okay do not make these judgments very fast you know saying and and you know, like i said a, a spectrum blocking my website is like one of the most outrageous thing that can happen or some hacker getting into my site for a panel no reason uh somebody trying to break down a poetry website for what reason i don't know <laughs> i really don't know why would anybody get it there so it's nothing uh in the same way there are other scenarios in life you know when you just look at somebody listen to a person and hear whatever they are saying you know in the, 
tomorrow's poem actually specifically i'm going to come to that because it is mentioned very clearly in in, in the poem and the post and everything somebody will be saying some sort of lie just for a gossip just for a laugh you know three people are standing or two people are standing or five people are standing together when they can point the finger at another person and make a joke if you believe it you take it as a joke rather than you believe it and if you are going to believe that i will i will go really 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 pissed off at that person i will tell you a very very simple example of a compulsive lie those those are compulsive liars one per, i went and i was asking another per, a person okay uh, about a phone uh, and 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 the details about the phone and this in turn actually is connecting to another person so that the mention of the other person came in and this girl you know started telling me a total lie saying i do not have any contact with that person and i was like did i ask you anything about like like about that person at all no it's in turn connecting to it immediately that person i don't have any connection to that person i left uh, you know a job there with who was working with her you know i left the job i have nothing to do with her and i can i don't even know whether that person still works there which immediately told me because i have clear evidence with me those two were communicating about 3 days before <laughs> and off the top of the head this person just said that lie so then i was like i should not be talking to this this particular girl anymore because if i keep on talking to her there will be more lies she will make from whatever i am saying or whatever i am doing even the very simple gesture of taking a phone and looking into it can be blown up into a big lie and told around it's not just one person multiple people and they are all going to look at me like some sort of a weirdo or some sort of a, already you know people think i'm a little weird because you know uh, i am weird <laughs> of course I, i just walk around sometimes i just i'll be just talking to myself uh, or i'll be sitting in a um, uh, you know in the, in, the, in the coffee shop or a uh, bookstore i'll be reading some book you know sitting there in a with this thing reading a book uh, or i'll be sitting in a food court of a mall these days i go and sit in the food court uh, you know when i'm actually sitting there uh, and i'm writing or something like people think you know, who in the right mind will actually take a fountain pen and start writing with it <laughs> so uh sometimes i use this thing you know i don't use it in the mall but uh, when i'm in the lake side you know but lake side is a totally different ball game there are photographers you know uh, other painters you know things like uh, those kind of people are always there so i don't have any problem nobody ask me anything uh but you know this one you know they make up things and tell others about you know this guy is weird this guy is doing this kind of bad thing that kind of bad things eventually what happens somebody at some point is going to get hurt and you don't believe the lies people say i'll be talking more about this thing in tomorrow's poem as well as the presentation tomorrow i believe i'll get time uh, at least in the middle of the night uh, because i have a game to go to and before that i have some things to do so i'll get back to you and i think we are already at about 33 minutes okay so what i am going to do is okay i need to do <laughs> uh i need to do i think this will stop at a point um but sometimes it cuts off if i actually stop the streaming and uh, i mean had i last time i saw shown a credit <laughs> but this time i'm not going to show any credits i hope it the stream goes through okay uh you all have a great night i'm going to go to bed and and i hope you enjoyed the poem even though i had a, a little hiccup when i actually read the poem because i saw an error there i'll correct the whole thing and probably uh, even the next tomorrow also i'll be much more prepared you know when i actually read that okay have a great night bye bye